sweet potato casserole. So to start, I've drained a 29 ounce can of uh, cut sweet potatoes that were in syrup, but I went ahead and drained the syrup and these are going into the bowl. I also want to show you that there is a sweet potato casserole on the back of the, the, the can of sweet potatoes here. And I'm going to pretty much utilize this recipe, but half it. And I am gonna change some things, but this is pretty much the guide for what I'm using today. So I'm going to start by mashing these. I'm just gonna give them a head start. When I use my electric mixer, that'll also uh, further break them down. But I'm just gonna roughly mash them in the bowl here with the fork. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. You probably want to add just a half cup of uh, light brown sugar, but I kind of ran out. So I had to just make up the difference with regular white sugar. But a half cup of light brown sugar goes in. Here I'm working with a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm gonna add just a little shake extra of that. Half teaspoon of fine salt a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of whole milk, or if you have evaporated milk, especially if you're doing a lot of holiday baking, you might have a can of evaporated milk open. I'm going in with two tablespoons of unsalted butter that I melted, one large egg going in. Now I'm going to combine well. So I'm just going to scrape the sides there, give that a mix. Okay, this is ready. Okay, so now I am going to create a crumble. Four packed tablespoons of light brown sugar. Here I have three tablespoons of softened butter, of all-purpose flour another little pinch shake of ground cinnamon and then I'm just going to mash the butter and everything combine it well and this is going to be a crumble that goes on top Okay, so now I have an, this is a two quart baking dish. Uh, it's actually to be exact 2.3 or an eight by eight square baking dish. And I buttered it with like a tablespoon of butter. Now I'm going to add all of my sweet potato mixture here. also make this amount in a round like eight inch pie dish or like a deep dish pie dish that also works okay so we have our layer of sweet potato so now I'm gonna crumble the the topping here well this is one of the toppings so here's what I like to do um, my son has nut allergies and I know he's gonna to wanna to try this today, so I'm skipping the crushed pecans or the chopped pecans I would put into this crumble. But you can definitely add a quarter cup of chopped pecans to this. So you can hear my cat in the background, he's yowling. <laughs> um, so what I like to do is add this crumble and bake it with the sweet potato casserole mixture. Then after 30 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, I like to add mini marshmallows on top. And you get like three different textures in this casserole and it's really my favorite part. Okay. So I've added this crumble and it's going in a preheated oven uncovered at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to remove it 
put mini marshmallows on top and bake it until the marshmallows are golden brown and cooked on the top. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes of bake time at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my mini marshmallows and just put it right on top. Oops, lost one. And I'm just gonna cover the top. And this is where texturally you get three different textures, and I love it. And I'm just gonna pile them all on top of here. And it truly is just, I don't know, my favorite thing. Okay, going back in the oven. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Ah, and this is done. Super excited to try this. I mean, look at that. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's hot. But you just want to bake this until the marshmallows get kind of puffy and a light toasting. Ah, so good. And you can see it's bubbling away in there. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.